Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Bugs, and I'm making a want slash need type of video for Multiverses before the game closes for 2024 and what we should want to see. And I know some of y'all probably saying, didn't you just do this video? Yes, but I noticed that I missed out on a lot of stuff. And then I also talked to some top players, some friends in the community. And yeah, I missed a lot of stuff. So I'm going to add it into this video and hopefully I enjoy. Now, warning, I will say the only things that will not be said or mentioned into this video are one, bugs on the game, bugs on the characters, servers, desync, net coding, balance changes on characters, hitboxes, and whiff recovery. I am almost certain PFG understands those are some high issues in this game right now. Those are the five biggest things in this game that's wrong with it. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be fixing it and worrying about it. So I'm not going to sit here and just talk about all this stuff that we already know. And if they don't know, hey PFG, if you're watching this video, those are the five major things that need to be fixed in this game. There, we got out the way. <laughs> and now let's get straight into this video. All right, the first thing we have yes. is the main menu is character change. I think it's dope we have Wonder Woman here, but I think what would be even more dope is if I had my own character that I want to see. For example, I'm a Harley main slash Stripe main. I would love to see Harley or Stripe or any other characters on the screen whenever I want to, you know. I think it will bring that uniqueness of when you get on the game, it feels like your game, you know. Instead of just seeing a random character on the screen, you see your character. And it gives you that like nice, fresh dopamine and just like, ah, this is me, you know. Um, the only time I think it should change, though, is when there are new characters being released into the game. So, for example, let's say the Flash comes in the future, you know. You have your character, you know. I say I have Harley on the screen for so long. And then, you know, when a new character drops, which is we have patch notes, everyone thing changes over to the Flash. Why? Because it wants to show that there's a new character in the game. And I think it would be a cool way to show people that don't play the game all the time and don't keep up with social media and stuff. So, you know, say, you know, they're Wonder Woman main. They have this character for so long. And all of a sudden, their screen changes and it's Flash now. They're like, wait, the Flash? Oh, the Flash is in the game, you know, so it gives them that idea like, oh, yeah, there's a new character in the game and I have to go try him out or see how he is. The next thing we have is favorite our favorite game modes. And don't get me wrong. I think this UI is beautiful and I love every inch about it. But one thing on this screen just kind of ticks me and makes me feel like it was just forced upon just to fill up space. And that is these game modes. Yes, don't get me wrong. They're not bad getting the lab, the tutorial, the customs and the arcade quick and easy. Love it. Right. But the point is that you can get all these game modes here so why have them here because they're like shortcuts and instead of it being random shortcuts that we don't care for or people don't use all the time for example the tutorial you're only going to use it once you don't need a, a, a hot click of you know going to that all the time so the thing would be is that you have your favorite game modes you go here you can you know put a star or favorite whatever game modes you like so it pops up here so for example say i'm a rank player you know what if i just want to have rank one rank two the lab and customs here because that's what i am let's say if i'm a casual let's say if i want arcade here um customs here local play here and silly mode here you know that that's what i could do you know i think it would be cool and something unique to have more uh if it feel like customized to the player instead of just having it there like everybody else has it there you know now what i'm about to say next is kind of making me a hypocrite because i just said i'm not talking about ba <clears throat> balance changes but it's not balance changes but it is but let's get straight into it so the next thing we have is the roles on these characters the roles on these characters do not matter. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a cool idea to have the roles, you know, give people the idea of what these characters are. And at the same time, don't hold them down to their role, you know. I don't think these characters should be locked down to their role and, you know, be limited to what they can and cannot do. But at the same time, there should still somewhat be a baseline of what they can and cannot do, if you get what I mean. So, for example, uh, the biggest controversy is Batman. Batman's supposed to be a bruiser. What are bruisers known for? being an overall character with speed damage help you know kind of all in the middle but <clears throat> with batman he's like an assassin he's super fast he's super light but then he has like strong hitting moves like like a bruiser with the uppercut and all these other things and it's kind of like kind of gives mixed signal you know, but you know that's probably what wasn't the best situation or best character to show off let's go to marvin he's an assassin don't get me wrong he has a little you know hand combat game nice cool 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 but if you look at his kit and that's all his moves it's mainly projectiles he should be a mage now the biggest con controversy of them all is Velma. Velma should be a support. She's supposed to be a support. She's supposed to have no damage, no real combo game, no real like kill power. But yet, she's the opposite. She does all that. And I'm not saying it's bad in a way, but it's like they all just feel like the roles don't mean nothing at all, you know. And then on top of that, another, another thing that needs to be changed or fixed or looked at is like the horizontal and vertical. So pretty much what this is telling you is how your character kills. It kind of gives you an idea of like, oh yeah, your character kills like this the best way. Steven? 
horizontal nose bomb his clap hand his shield up his best way to kill is vertical shoot I saw him even vertically down it's not horizontal what you want to do his little belly bump uh, barely killing his shield thing nah, you know it's like stuff like that it definitely needs to be looked at and stuff again taz horizontal that's true but at the same time he could be a hybrid now they buffed his um vertical because people complain about his up attack not really killing now he can you see what i mean so it's either stuff like this got to be removed because again i just feel like they were like fillers but it could either be a filler but updated or just remove because it doesn't do anything all right up next we have is the friend list all right i think it's awesome i think it's amazing i also mess with this a lot the refresh thing i think every game needs this because instead of you having to reset your whole game because your friend list is messed up you just hit a button and it does it for you love it beautiful cool right now the thing is i would love to see what my friends are doing so for example i have my steam friends they're all online but they're not playing multiverses so something is saying hey playing another game would be awesome and the people that are playing multiverses tell me what they're doing hey they're in the lobby hey they're in customs hey they're in arcade hey they're in the lab hey they're in a match right now oh it's zero zero oh it's one zero oh it's one one you know stuff like that i would love to see that on that and following into our next category would be a voice chat slash text chat um slash dm and chat and the reason why i say that is because um there was actually a survey going on after a little bit you know when the game was announced that it was gonna be closing in june 25th um about stuff and one of the things was a cross-platform um voice chat i think this is amazing i know fighters usually don't do this but to have this because again it's a 2v2 game that's awesome i also think it would be cool to be able to hear each other at the end of the game like your um your enemy team i think that would be dope you know a little banter you know against people it won't hurt people and i know people might say but people will be toxic and say all these bad things um there's two things that can that can be done one multiverse already have the age thingy when you get into the game so if you're under 18 you automatically have everyone muted like on the opposite team and then you have to unmute them if you want to hear them and then you just do that also you can have a setting where you have everyone just muted and the people that you do know you unmute and talk to them and again if you they're bad or anything you just mute them you know i think this would be a cute cool future a cool feature for streamers and other things because it'll just give that like that little fun banter against other people like hey you suck oh i beat you oh i did this to you oh i did you know just fun stuff and again if people get toxic just mute them block them and you can never hear them from them again and also um the text thingy i think it would be dope you don't have to be nothing crazy it could just be a little text you know say my friends online i hit the little you know text chat hey you want to play games hey you want to do this you know i think stuff like that would be dope this one is for my multiple gamers that live in the same house like brothers sisters and maybe even couples a split screen online i think everyone wants to see this um i know it's easily done on consoles because you know when you put on another controller they automatically let you sign into an account or you could do a guest account but i think they should um, be all online accounts just for the fact that you know this is just for the competitive side of me about you know cheaters and boosters and all that stuff but you know just have someone sign into their account and then you can play online on the same console now on pc it might be a little more difficult possibly i don't know i don't know how steam and epic does it if it's easy to implement i would love to see that i'm pretty sure a lot of other people would love to see that i heard many couples which is very not say funny but interesting that you know they want to play with each other but they can't or they will have to be on two different like parts of the room because they got to play on their PC over here and their console over there when they could just want to sit next to each other and play with each other, you know? So I think that'd be a cool addition to have in the game. Have next we have on our agenda is more custom um, features. I'm not going to lie. Custom is so bare bones. There's like nothing that you can really do. You could barely have more than four stocks. Why? Give us more features, bro. Like I would love to see a handicap mode where, you know, I want my teammate or my enemy to go to three stocks while I need to go to two. You know, I already give them a point or whatever um <clears throat> a gravity mode change the gravity how we want to change the speed allow us to do no cooldowns in here allow us to have no tactic in here unlimited stocks unlimited time other stuff i i, I don't know the top of my head but like we, we need more like stuff to do in, in custom mode bro it's custom mode L let me see the silly mode that's another thing we don't have silly mode i want to see every single silly mode. i want to see more game modes that we're going to get into later but yeah next we have is map variation shout out to my boy right here that made this I think this is a cool idea. There's two ways they could do it. And I think they should always do it in two ways. Is you could buy it with gold or you could buy it with glenium. 2000, however they think it's worth a map variation. But also be able to purchase with gold. So for example, maybe even like 15,000 gold or 20,000 gold. Because you know, um, all it's doing is changing how the map looks. 
Um, this would help with people like myself that feel like they're dropping maps a little too slow. Because I think they were dropping a lot of characters really fast. A character every two weeks. That's kind of crazy. But I felt like they was lacking on the maps. And I think this would kind of like leave that open where it's like, okay, at least I got cool skins on the map. So it can feel new to me, you know, and just be different. I think that would be a cool idea. And I think this is awesome, to be honest. And another way for them to make money to, to help grow the game. <laughs> Next we have is Duo Labbing. Multi versus PFG. This game is what the hell, bot? <laughs> this game is literally advertised as a 2v2 game, but yet we can't 2v2 lab. I'm gonna show you an example of another game that recently dropped or is in beta right now, and they I have mean, labbing. They have 2v2 labbing, they have frame data and all that stuff. Come on, PFG, we need this. It's a 2v2 game. I wanna learn combos with my team. I wanna go crazy when I get into real games that we hit in combos that we know are true. And you know, cool stuff. Come on, man put it in the game we need duo labbing um following up with duo labbing um would just be more features in the lab <laughs> um i got me wrong it's an open beta i understand you know you just got this the basics but i would love to see stuff like the i uh, um to make the bots di a certain way for us um hit boxes and hurt boxes visual so we can see how it looks and stuff frame data playback features recording features and everything else that's in platform fighters and traditional fighters you know all that information um so we could just get better practice and understanding um characters and going against characters so you know it's a better experience for us another quick thing to jump in um about lab stuff is the bots the bots in arcade the bots in possibly a future story mode or whatever um you know bot mode i have going on but improve their difficulty i ain't gonna lie they could dodge but that's about it they can't fight they can't do anything i would love to see um pfg use the team team the player combos that we've come up with and implemented into the bot that are true or near true and they actually do it. i think that'd be a cool idea a dope idea make the bots better stuff like how brahala has it i want to say smash has a good bot i don't know but i know brahala has amazing bots especially their um chosen bots great I mean, we need stuff like that when it comes to the bots up next would be a replay system i'm pretty sure we all agree for tournaments and customs and all that stuff would be awesome just to um learn stuff and go through stuff and also for my content creators to make videos and stuff and the best example i could show is smash and not only just make it like a record system like how brahala, brahala did it because this is a 3d model 2d game like smash i would like to see stuff like this or we could do angles like this and i'm gonna give you all the best example i'm gonna expose myself i gonna give you all the best best example of what i mean so you know you could just turn turn it like this and have the 3d view and have different stuff imagine Let if imagine if he was able to use that in this clip right here you know because right now it's just a basic clip you know cool right oh my god that was awesome right now imagine if he was able to go back into the replay mode now right go through it right do this cool move edit it and then you know then go from here, from that angle, and do like a cool edit. It'll make the clip. It'll make the clip not only cool, more epic, and just awesome. Literally, it'll just be so awesome. It'll just change up the whole thing, and it'll just be great for again, like making TikToks, YouTube, and all that stuff that could promote the game even more. All right, up next we have is controller bind settings. If you don't know, keyboard have these settings and my man controller needs it too. You can have up attack, right attack, down attack, left attack, right up special, left down, down, all that. Keyboard has that, but controller doesn't have it yet. I would love to see that, man. We, we need it. <laughs> um, another thing, um, we don't need this right away, but definitely down the line when we when we get to that 40 player, 50 play, or 40 character, 50 character mark would be a character bind settings where you can, because we have, you know, stuff like this that allows us to have different um, binds. I love to see this, that we can um, put them on each character so we don't have to keep changing back and forth if we play a certain way with another character. Um, and the best example I can show is probably like Valorant because Valorant allows you to do different binds for every character that you play in the game. All right, up next we have is the battle pass um, and how to improve it. Um, don't get me wrong. This thing definitely could have been better, but I think we got to give credit when it's due. And for example, if you don't even have money to purchase the battle pass, you get a lot of free stuff. Usually battle passes, you get a free item every five to six levels. This is giving you an item every level, epic items, legendary items legendary Le like don't get me wrong they're only profile pictures but they're still something to nothing you know and i think we gotta give credit when it's due um but i also do get it for the people that purchased it you know for example the skins <clears throat> in my opinion are 
I wouldn't say call it bad because you know it all depends on what character you use but I will say getting skins were pretty bad again level one you get a skin and then you don't see another skin until level 40 and then your last skin isn't even a legendary which is pretty bad those stuff can change and also um the leveling the progression these bro every I'm not gonna lie every day like these last four levels it took a day to get to and I played the game a lot so that was like 10 11 hours of pro progression just to go up one tier was kind of crazy um another thing would be the whole gleneum situation so you know battle passes usually when you buy it you can um, have every battle pass ever for free after ten dollars because you could just keep using that same currency you get and buy and buy and buy it personally i don't really care for that because i again if i enjoy a game i don't mind paying ten dollars every what two three months for every battle pass that's just me but again i'm not against it if they want to add it they add it if they don't they don't cool right the next um thing we have is the community events these community events are awesome they're dope they um you know add stuff they add new skins and all that stuff they also add um a new game mode for silly mode if you don't silly mode silly mode added like cool stuff like the candy stuff the Val valentina valentine event um game modes and all that stuff but they, we're going to be talking about the event the shop pretty much like the currency the the token currency so pretty much um in the token currency you get to buy these skins so as you can see we have two free skins that is jake and rain dog and the rest of you have to buy with Gleneum now there's two different ways they can do it because i think um you know i'm gonna talk about it in the player side i'm sorry on the business side which they most likely would do if they even take this idea so the player side would be if i'm able to play the game enough i should be able to purchase every skin for free with the token if i earn enough um and if i'm a player that enjoy this game but don't have enough free time but i just can buy it i should be able to buy all these skins now obviously the free side thing is kind of bad for business they probably won't do that but we're going to use this as a prime example. You see how there's two free skins? What they could do is allow you to buy any of these two skins for free with, you know, the current token or whatever. And then based off of their verity, it costs more, you know, candy, less candy and all that stuff. But then make the rest purchasable. So, for example, I'm going to use it in two scenarios. Say I'm a rain dog player and I work all the time and I can't play the game all the time. I got two days in and I just can't afford to play enough to gain enough tokens to get it. So instead, I could just buy it. But now let's say I'm a broke person. Oh, sorry. I need to say it like that. I cannot afford the skin and I want one of these skins, you know, one of these two skins or both of them, right? So instead of me using my tokens and having forcefully having to buy these, I could buy these two for free and the rest become purchasable. Stuff like that. I think that'd be a cool idea. And then the final um event type of topic we have is this one which i think it was awesome it doesn't happen all the time but definitely we'd love to see this once or twice a month which would be or twice a month which would be unlocking stuff so this is a cool thing multiverses did is that um it told us that this challenge was alive now for for us to play and we had to collectively as a community get 10 million ring outs and we unlocked it bro i think we unlocked it in like i want to say like two hours or something oh damn it i thought i had the page open but i don't but yeah i think it was like two hours of us playing again the community came together played it so we can unlock this map as fast as possible i think that was awesome and dope i would love to see more stuff like this in the future up next we have is allow us to have different skin colorways so for example we have our skins you know we know this and stuff all this now what if we're able to have different skins like you know shaggy has a green shirt what if i want to have a blue shirt a yellow shirt red shirt i think we should be able to purchase that and the first way i could show y'all that it's kind of in the game already but just not a thing that we that we can do so for example um, i'm going to use aria's example because i am you know myself and because i have team colors on if you have team colors off you can have the actual default skin that's supposed to be but because um i have it on it wants to differentiate me my teammate and my enemies so i'm gonna be green now if i have uh my teammate it's gonna be blue and if i have an enemy it's gonna be red now what if i was able to purchase this and have the skin because what if i wanted to be red what if i wanted a red sweater allow this to be purchasable allow us to pay one a hundred gleneum which is like a dollar or pay a thousand or fifteen two thousand gold for 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 pretty much a different color i think that would be cool i think people will enjoy it and also it'll give that grindy factor like me playing you know i'm like all right i want a different color i gotta play to gain it and stuff like that you know instead of it just giving it to us it give us a little grind factor to it um and then next um another idea i would have is um this one would be like 
down the line down like i would say like a year or two from now you know like probably in 20 20 25 maybe 2020 wait 2025 or 2026 because the game ain't coming back to 2044 um but yeah this would be a cool idea so for example let's say i am wonder woman right and i am the skin this this is what i call true customization and pretty much it would be that i can swap out stuff on my character skin so for example let's say i'm wonder woman but i want her weapons so i'm allowed to so pretty much i could change my my headpiece my torso my weapons my legs and my boots or whatever right because what if i want to change it up see what if i wanted to be this skin with those weapons i think that would be cool to have true customization down the line to kind of just differentiate our players and stuff would be pretty dope and like i said very unique to be like oh yeah uh, that combination oh that's that player or that combination in that friend group that's them you know i think it'll be cool and dope and it's give us different variations of how we want to see a skin and see different things of the skin. I think that'd be dope. Next we have is socials and partners. Um, there's two ways they could do it. They could do both of them or I could just do the one way. And Up next we have is socials slash partners. Um, they could do it both ways. I could just do partners. I'm going to show you what I mean. So shout out to Premiere. He's the one who made this kind of concept. But pretty much when you go into games, people could see this. If you're a TikToker youtuber twitch all that stuff all you gotta do is you know link your account to the game and then it shows right it shows shows that so people know you know you're on those platforms now obviously that might be too much i'm not sure if it is but if it is too much for them then they could do it to their top um streamer their top youtuber their top tiktok talker so people can see it and obviously they can still have that ability to take it off they don't want to be seen and stuff but i think it'd be cool to have but again if that's too much then the best thing they could do is or the next best thing they could do is their partners because PFG or multiverses have their partners of the game. I think it would be cool to see who's partnered with the game. So they have like a cool symbol. Like, oh, I'm partnered. You know, this is me. This is actually my account. I'm not a fake or whatever. I think it would be cool for fans and stuff that want to see stuff like that. And again, obviously, the partners can take it off if they truly want to. But I think it would be a cool concept that should be added to the game. All right. Next, we have is guilds. As you can see, it's not here yet. And PFG, when you do add this, please don't make it no basic. Here's my clan tag. Nah. We can wait until it's fully done, and I'm talking about like PVE stuff, PVP stuff. For example, the be the bare minimum I could think of is like a guild boss where you, as a team, will go in and fight and do damage to a boss and see who does the most damage at the X amount of time, days, hours of the day, whatever, you know, like those mobile games do. And you get rewards for, you know, the top top 100 t um, teams and our guilds and the top 1,000 and top 15, all different variant of rewards and stuff. And then also a PVP thing. It could be just like rank, but just with guilds for 2v2s. Or, you know, if they could think of any other cool concept. You know, they can have multiple team, um, guilds at the same time fighting each other. It would be dope. Just something. I just don't want the basic, here's my clan tag. No, I want it to feel like I'm actually part of a guild. I want to be like, oh, damn, I got to go get on the game and do this for my guild. You know, I want to feel like I'm doing something and then just, here's my clan tag. <laughs> Next, we have is the blocking feature. So pretty much when you block somebody, you kind of just don't see them ever in your game again. Now, I think this is a fine feature when it comes to normals, you know, twos, silly Q, free for all, because, you know, they're probably toxic or they just die, die themselves in games and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. But the only thing indifferent that I want to see in rank, because I think this also works in rank where you could block somebody and you just won't see them again. Um, in rank, um, at least in twos, I think it should be that they can't be on your team because maybe they throw, maybe they use something stupid, but they still have, but you still have to go against them. Why? Because it's rank and it's leaderboard and this would be a cheap way of, you know, not having to face someone because you just don't like them or don't like their character. I get the whole not being on your team because maybe you want to solo queue, right? And they probably do bad or they troll. Cool. But you still got to face them. I think that would be the best way for that. All right. Up next we have is career stats. Stuff that they should add is like damage, how many times you've been KO, airtime, etc. Whatever they, they, they could think of. And the reason why is because if you don't know, normal rank 1s and 2s will be removed. Why? We have rank now. So there's no point of having ranking in casual queues and stuff. So that will be removed also with the leaderboard. Following into our next topic, which will be change the leaderboard to character leaderboard. So if you don't know, we already do have character leaderboards, but we can't really see it. And it's just based off of normals. Um, what I think you should do is change it to rank. So just be RP, you know, rank points. And depending on how many rank points you gain, you know, then that gives you your ranking based off of everybody else. And then the best way to see that would be right here, you know, character um, leaderboards. It will show a, you know, teams and ones. And then right here, it should pop up like, oh, what character? Click on the character and then it'll show you, oh, this character, you're number fifth in the world or, you know, stuff. And also, you know, make sure it's regional going into our next topic, which is rank. 
rank right now is global leaderboards which isn't bad you know i definitely want to see you know where everyone's at on the leaderboard together which is just cool but at the same time we should see regional stuff and the reason why is because we will never face these players in a rank you know thing because we're in different regions for example you, you think all these guys are na right because mostly NA players play but guess what number two right here shout out to frenzy he's an eu player don't get me wrong, I think this is cool to have a global leaderboard, Ugh, a global leaderboard, but we also need a regional leaderboard. He should be number one in his region. Why? Because he will never face us. Even though they're, you know, racing each other back and forth to take first spot, he will never face Foxy to stop him, you know, if they queue at the same time because they will never face each other or the same players. So that is why I think there should be a seasonal um, leaderboard for that. But going on and continuing with the whole rank topic, um, another thing I would love to see an improvement is rank. Um, showing right now it only shows top 25 then it shows your friend list grandmaster is literally says top 100 i would love to see who is the top 100 especially if i don't have any friends near the top 100 because what if i was trying to go for top 100 i can't see how many points i need because 75 of the people were gone <laughs> and it doesn't show me so i would just have to keep playing and playing until i get to that number or i get closer to that number um and then also i'm pretty sure this is gonna happen but rank rewards i would love to see a profile picture um of uh of my ranking you know it should say grandmaster and it should show what number i was as a grandmaster because you know i ain't allowed to be very sad working this hard and then not even show off that i'm you know this level grandmaster and it just says, oh yeah you just hit grandmaster it's like oh okay <laughs> you know um, i think also be a cool banner um i think another thing that would be really dope and i'm gonna give you an example would be like how fortnite did it what fortnite does is in their fnc seasonal thing you know their champion is a pickaxe you know it's a unique pickaxe that only they have out of the whole like game in their region i think a cool thing would be for rank in this game will be your top 100 um get a school a cool unique um skin it could either be they just have every grandmaster skin for every character unlocked or they can have uh, a unique skin that's you know grandmaster made for their most used character in rank i think that would be dope i think that would be cool and then obviously if they don't keep it next season then they can lose that skin and that's how it works vice versa so it'll give us a reason a purpose to keep grinding rank versus just oh yeah i'm there i don't need to play anymore so you could play for like something cool like a skin like oh yeah you're a grandmaster you know stuff like that would be pretty dope um and also an end season tournament i'm um, just a competitive side of me wanting that but yeah <laughs> all right up next we have is map banning in rank now i personally think rank and tournament should be as close as possible because you know rank is just practice for tournament play but for PFG, from a player experience, it probably is very terrible. You know, one minute for picking your character, 45 seconds for picking your perks, and like 30 to 45 seconds to pick to banning your um, maps, too much. But what they could do is do what Brawlhalla did with the whole setting thing where you ban a map before you play so you can never see that map in your queue. So for example, how they could do it is when you know when you go to your rank, you go into your queue, right here when you're in this page, you should have something like right here or probably right here that says I um, have a map ban. You have your map ban, and then you can never see that in queue. So, for example, I'm going to show y'all all, all the maps that is available in tournament play. Obviously, you know, also make all the tournaments or all the maps in rank be the same as tournament play. You know, so keep that updated as, you know, life of the game goes on. So, I'm going to ban all the maps that aren't in tournament play. Um, I think this is it. Yes, Storm Rune is a map. Haha. <laughs> anyways, so this would be your maps. So, say it's 2v2, you have four players, and all four players ban a different map. So, you have something like this. So now, um, when the match starts, so you know when you pick your perks and stuff, it should show you, or if it can, probably doesn't have to, but I think it would be cool to show like what maps each person banned, like in the back of them or something on the side of them, so you know, okay, you won't be seeing that map, and then you know, then obviously these are the random maps that will be played out, but obviously it won't show these maps. You know, you just have to use your mind or you know think of the maps, like okay, what is left to be played, and these would be the maps, or I mean not or, but you know, for example, say me and my teammate banned the same map, so. You know, Bat Cave is gone, but then my enemies have two different maps banned. Bam, bam, bam. So now these would be the maps, and these could be randomized and etc. You know, on forward and going on with that. Um, next we have is having a tournament mode. If you don't know, Rocket League, Valorant, etc. Has done it. I would love PFG to do it. They don't have to do it on a big scale. They could start off something simple like they're making Rain Dog event and start it like that. Um, and the reason why it's really good to have in-game events is because if you don't know, a lot of people do want to compete in video games. It's just that going on websites is very inconvenient for a lot of people and they don't know that they could do that. But if you have something that's in-game where you could just see it and click it to join, they will do it and they will 
come back and play and, and stuff and now just bring more numbers into competing and people being interested in competing and possibly even watching it um and then down the line they could do that more for their official events um they can have daily weekly events just for extra coins cool skins unique stuff in the game um and then they could use third party people like orgs that want to run tournaments in their game and then finally you know once they get feel more comfortable and got the system down packed like rocket league then we can have anyone running tournaments whenever lands and all that stuff so it's like a uh how do i say like a in-program thing where you could take a better screenshot of like hey i won this event you know and have it in your information like oh i won this tournament i have a little badge that shows it type stuff you know it'd be pretty cool all right this is my favorite part of them all right now more game modes i don't want to see no basic game mode no offense to like smash and rahala i just don't want to see the basic game modes of like dodgeball and all these other stuff hit hard and all that stuff i want to see unique stuff and the number one unique thing that we have in multiverses and i'm pretty sure all know y'all y'all all know where i'm going to go to go with this one as that happened i don't know what the hell that was about is yes the court space jam we have basketball for the love of god pfg make a basketball game mode there's two ways you can do it you can make it to where everyone's lebron you know add some little you know basketball features let us play basketball or you can make it a little more unique where every character has lebron's little features that has basketball moves and stuff and then you can make every role you know the roles be different you know oh, you're a tank it's harder to steal the ball from you or whatever you're assassin you have fast you're faster and all that just cool stuff like that or like i said keep it basic just let us play basketball with all the characters or just all lebron's and we just go have fun another thing that would be very cool and unique is racing mortal kombat did it a long time ago right here i'm gonna show you right here it's pretty cool dope shout out to you destiny for having this but yeah like th th this is this is also why i call um multiverses the fortnite of fires because they could do stuff like this because of how new and fresh their game is and because it's free to play and you know brand new they could add stuff like this early on before it's too late to not be able to add it i don't know i don't really know how coding works but stuff like this now obviously this might be a little bit too much and probably don't have enough um time to get this done so the next best thing and i've done this in my last video or showed it in my last video will be like a top down version so again you can have these top down versions on maps that we know and love and then you can have like power-ups you know you can have a power-up or batarang um velma's um icy thing um marvin's laser you know superman's breath when you pick it up you know your car stuff like that it will make the game more fun and more unique and be like wow am i still playing a fighting game you know it'll just be different yeah <laughs> uh, another thing would be like king of the hill where you know you have like say you have five people in the lobby you know two people's playing right now one person eliminates them this person gets replaced by another player and you go back and forth etc etc same thing with twos you can probably get to eight players or six players however they can and you just keep swapping out swapping out it'll be a great way for people to practice with multiple like teams and players um and then another thing i had in mind was like an obstacle course like parkour pretty much i think that would be pretty cool i think brahala did something like that with attacking and stuff that was pretty dope obviously i don't think you need attacking just like i said just cool parkour stuff this is fun stuff to do and other game modes you know just unique game modes fun game modes i don't want to see the basics of the base again nope disrespect to brahala but like dodgeball and all that stuff it just seems bland i, I want to see uniqueness i want to see like whoa i'm playing a whole different game type stuff you know i think that would bring more attention to the game especially you know in the fight fighting genre where those you know communities are very small because it's just fighting and 1v1 so when you have stuff like this people are like what the hell you know another thing would be a battle royale you remember flash party that was dope if y'all remember it if you not look it up it's pretty dope i think that would be really cool all right next we have is improve rk mode again this is an open beta we can see that it literally says classic version 0.01 so that means they are already thinking about and will be improving it but the things i would like to see improve would be one i would love to see these stars in all my game modes you know i want because i'm a streamer and if I make YouTube videos and stuff, I would like to people. I would like to s people see that I've done it, you know. So like when I go to other stuff like you know normal queues, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna be playing ones right now. Everyone can still see like, oh yeah, you did that arcade thing, you know. That the only way to see that is by going to badges. Oh yeah, I was I was in the right spot. <laughs> going to badges and seeing it here. If if I even wanna you know have it on. I think it would be dope just to be able to see it overall in the game and customs and stuff so people could be like oh yeah you did do that oh oh shoot he did it you know that'd be cool it feels like an actual achievement versus it's being hidden in um it's being hidden here you know it feels hidden it's like oh yeah the only time you see it, it's here kind of thingy also i think you should make this one too i don't know just for 
for giggles. <laughs> um, and also, give us rewards. Don't get me wrong. Again, I know it's beta. You know, the badge is something quick. Be like, oh yeah, you, you completed it and stuff. I think a cool reward would be like a skin um, of arcade stuff. Arcade machines, arcade controllers, coin machine, whatever. And then he's literally just decked out in like arcade, you know, patches and stuff all around them. For every character on the hardest difficulty. I think that would be cool. Other rewards, maybe like a banner profile whatever the whatever y'all can really think of it just more rewards will make you feel like you actually accomplished something versus just like hey i got a badge you know i just feel like it was very lackluster of of that and also this is going back to the whole bot thingy make the bots smarter harder again these bots are hard when it comes to dodging um and then at the ending with the big rain dogs very funny and unique but again they're kind of not hard because they're just big and bozo and when they hit you yeah you die really early but Again, they just kind of just do nothing type stuff, you know? I, I just want it to feel like a, a actual challenge. All right, my next one. A lot of the players are really going to like this one. <coughs> a, a real offline mode. Now, there's two ways they could do it. I don't think they're actually going to make you be able to per play this game offline. They, you probably still need online um, to, to access this game because that's how it is right now. If they do change it, awesome. If they don't, there's still a way to have real offline mode. And when I'm talking about real offline mode, I mean like arcade and if you want to play against bots, you know, because you can play against bots in 1v1s. Let that be offline, just like how, how the lab is and just how local play is. Because I ain't going to lie, I played arcade. I played bots for fun by myself. Again, this is also being improved, the servers and stuff. But it was just a very bad experience. And, or what if I do have bad connection, right? But if I have enough connection to get online to play the game. Allow us to have that offline mode where we just play and have fun, you know? Because playing arcade with desync bots, keyword bots, kind of crazy to me. I would love to see, you know, that be offline, even though you still need online technically to play the game. Because, like I said, you need online, but the lab isn't like online. Um, local play isn't online, even though you have to be online to play. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I, I would like that to be improvised into stuff like that. This one is a huge one improve perks i'm pretty sure we all know these perks are very very bad right now there is just so many per there's only so many few perks that is worth running as you can see uh, most people only run green perks we need to see improvements in all these perks don't get me wrong some of them are good you know are situational but a lot of these perks are just so bad they're so bad we would love to see them being increased and also new new perks you know that, that opens up the game to different ways but I also made a big list. I put it in the description for y'all to read it. Um, and y'all can make comments if y'all want to add more. But yeah, for example, a quick one that I did was the damage one. You know, that's 5 and 10. Bro, even stacked hammer 10. 10% 10 damage. If my hammer does 10, like 10 damage, that is one extra damage. That's nothing. So pretty much my improvised, my improved version would be just do one whole damage or do two damage. Because it just doesn't do anything. You You don't see the effect until like so long gone or only on big moves and it's barely anything you know so stuff like that needs to be changed also did like you know the the, the, the stronger oh yeah this one again less damage and stuff i also did other like perks where i like fully change it differently like i think it's 30 yeah i think start no not 30 there was something else but pretty much you can read on it i don't make it too long talking about this but yeah i made some improvements and hopefully we see some improvements where the, the perks feel like it changes the game. It shouldn't change the game a lot, but it definitely should feel like, oh, damn, I won because of this perk. Oh, damn, I, you know, the game could have been different if it didn't have it, you know, versus now it's like, yeah, you got to just run triple jump, Taz and, and Looney Tunes to stay survive longer. That's it. Everything else is bad. You know, I don't I don't want that. I, I want to feel like the perks mean something when I put them on or or be or, or more freedom of perks of where I don't feel like I need to run these three perks where I can run like I want to do more damage to you this game because I know I could win more neutral or damn you win more neutral than me. I want to take less damage from you so I can survive a little longer. stuff like that. You know. All right. Next we have is just more badges. I think the badges are cool. I think we'd like to see more. Um, One of the badges someone gave out, which is a really good idea, would just be like how many toasts you gave out in this game. If you don't know, the toast is like the GG form of this game, and I, I would love to see how much toast I gave out. I think that's a cool badge, and again, just add more badges. Um, next we have is character leveling. Don't get me wrong, I think it's awesome. I think it's great how they did it. We definitely need more. I love to see, you know, more toasts, more gold, um, animated profile pictures, animated banners added. The, the higher I get, animated skins. I'll show you a great concept someone came with. They used the Guilty Gear, I think, skin or something like that. 
but I think this would be nice, like a mastery skin, you know, at a higher level. 50 is probably dragging it, because if you don't know, leveling this character game is very hard. Like, the highest level character that only play one character is, like, 43. That is hard, but I'm fine. Maybe. And even then, it would feel worth it to get something like this, you know. I think it would be pretty cool to have a unique skin at the top of the top. So, when people get it, it's not just like, oh, you're level 30, oh, you're level 40. When you see stuff like this, you're like, oh... You're level 40. Oh, you're level 45. You know, if you see a cool banner, you see a cool skin, it's like, oh, damn. You feel it. You know, you see it versus, oh, you see a number, you're like, oh, cool. You play a lot, you know? All right, next we have, which is very unique and I think will be pretty dope down the line just to have, is a stage builder to make our own maps for customs, give us more things to do in customs. I think that's a great idea. Cool. Love it. Add that to the game. Um, next would be a story mode. Now, this is a free-to-play game, so I hope you are not expecting this to be free. I will pay $20, maybe even $25 for this. As long as it has, you know, cosmetic skins, banners, all that stuff. Awesome. Um, and the best way I could think they should do it would just be like a scro scroll wheel game, like uh, Mario or uh, Super Smash Bros. They're, they're nice little cool cutscenes, you know. And then, like I said, a scroll wheel game, just like how Mario is or, you know, Super Smash. And then basic, fight little enemies, then you fight a boss. And if they could do a better than this, then do a better than this. But I think stuff like this is all you really need. You don't got to really go too hard or make it too basic where you just click the map or click the level, you know, the circle, and you just move on and you beat that person. You click the level. Nah, make it interactive like this. Do stuff in it. People will love it. People will enjoy it. Trust me. They will. All right. Up next we have is improving the winning slash losing screen. I ain't going to lie. It, it's starting to get to me in the last two months of this game. It's too plain at least make it the map that we just played or something or make it unique it is too plain right now update that next we have is when two characters um use the same banners make it bigger and more upgraded this is um a mirror man's idea so shout out to him and i'm gonna show you example so let's say this banner yeah i use this banner example so you see how by yourself you you know it just looks like this now what if you and your teammate both put them on now you know you know how the you know how the the waiting menu looks like when you're together with the banners now it's joined together and instead of it just being you know the one eye now it could be multiple borders with one eyes and probably having like an arm hanging out you know like on some monster stuff and it'll just be cool uh, it, it would be cool to have stuff like that um two big iron giants together combined you know just stuff like that i don't like i'm not you know that's not the best example or this one now that now that you and your teammates running it now harley's in the background holding both of them you know you know with one hand you know something like that because it looks like an upgraded version when both of y'all are together i think that would be a cool like feature uh, of banners and stuff make it unique and stuff all right next we have is a better scoreboard don't get me wrong i think the ko and damage is cool i think it could be a little bit more detailed this is an example shout out to streamline obviously this is not in game this is more competitive side but it gets the idea of like i would like to see more features even if it's not like the base the base of like showing it off i like to hit like a more summary so i can see more stuff like for example how long we were in the air healing um dodging all that stuff dodge it you know getting um getting hit how much damage it did how much damage it did with attack how much damage it did with spec i would love to see stuff like that all right this again i'm gonna make me sound like a hypocrite but this is more on like i guess balance changes but again this is just more of a universal thing that i want to happen in the game so for example back in the playtest harley had an issue where she did her side specials to the wall she would slide down like this like that literally she would slide down by just doing side special and it would get me killed and i was like yo tony that i don't think that should be a thing that's kind of dumb like that, that should be fixed he's like oh yeah you're right it should be fixed and he fixed it and now this is what happens some of y'all gonna like me for this some of y'all gonna hate me for this so now when you do side special it cancels you know if you, if you if you try to hold the wall if you don't hold the wall you can still get the move off right but if you hold the wall you know you you, you cancel the move right now if you go to someone like batman because again this is all varies on different characters all different moves are all different for example if the batman if you do attack to the wall and go to the wall you know, you do the move and then you hug the wall. Now, if you do someone like Stripe and you do the move backwards, say you're trying to get someone off to you and then you're trying to, as soon as you hit them, you want to hug the wall. This is what happens. See how you slide down? There's three different variations. Again, this is not just on these characters. They're, they're all the characters and the certain amount of whatever move you do acts a different way but those are the three ways it can happen it's either you do a move and it cancels when you're trying to hug the wall you do a move and you slide when you try to hug the wall or you do the move it does the move and you hold on to the wall i want it to be 
consistent on all the characters and all the moves. So, for example, it should either be like Harley's, where if I do a move, right? If I do a move and I hug the wall, it should cancel it, right? Or it should be like Batman, where if I do a move to the wall, I should do the move and then hug the wall instantly right after. Those are the two variations that I think it should be. And hopefully everyone agrees with me because... Like I said, I would like to see more consistency in the game. The next thing we have about consistency is dodge, um, is dodging. So in this game, everyone dodges somewhat the same. You know, when it comes to doing this dodges, you know, there's no different speed and like stuff like that or like neutral dodging stuff like that, right? But what there is differences is down dodging. So down dodging allows you to dodge a little bit faster. So for example, we're gonna show Harley when I do neutral dodge, it looks like that, right? I can spam it. It's not gonna happen. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get that. You get two dodges in one. Again, that needs to be consistent too. It should just be one. It shouldn't be two randomly sometimes, right? But if you do down dodging, you can do way faster dodging, which is like a tech to cancel your dodge to dodge again. Which I think is fine. You know, I think that's a cool way to, you know, stop someone multiple multiple jabs, you know, combos, and you could just dodge in place. I think that's pretty dope, right? But my issue is, is that everyone has different speed when it comes to dodging. And I'm going to show you three characters that you can definitely see that is way different. So I'm going to show you one normal character. I want to say Shaggy's kind of normal. Not that normal, but... So his, his thing looks like he does double in a row, right? Back to back, right? So it's kind, so it looks faster. Well, not it looks faster. It is faster than Harley's, right? Because he gets two dodges instantly uh, from each other, while hers is more kind of like consistent, where it's like, mm, 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 see? While his was like kind of like doubled. All right? Now we're going to go to the third fastest dodging character in the game, which is Aria. So when I spam the dodge button downwards, you know, it's pretty fast, you know, it's hella fast. All right, cool, cool, cool. Then we have people like this, Batman, that is just criminal. What? Why is he dodging faster than others, you know? But then we have the number one demon. Who is it going to be? Who is the fastest dodger of them all? <gasps> Taz. Taz is the fastest dodging speed in the game. I don't mind stuff like this, but again, I think stuff like this needs to be universal to all the characters. No character should fucking be able to dodge this fast. I'm gonna show you a clip. I'm gonna show you a clip of me dodging Superman's um whole jab um animation trying to attack me as, as Taz right now. You see what I mean? <laughs> but if I was any other character, I probably would get hit in one of those punches because they're so fast that, you know, the, the little time frame where I don't have um, dodge frames, I'm going to get hit. Because I was Taz, I was able to keep that dodge frame the whole duration. And again, I don't mind it. I just would like to see it consistent around all the characters. All right, next thing we have, guys, is it's kind of an IRL thing. Cards. Yes, if you don't know, multiverses have cards. I would love to see them continue this and also not only continue this, also have um, skins of the characters to make them even more unique. And I think a cool way they should give these out are is at, you know, events and stuff and giveaways that they just randomly want to have and stuff. I think it would be cool. It's like a trading card collection thing. I think these are dope. They need to do more. I have all of them. They're, 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 just, they're just cool. I, I would like to see this continue this um project i think they're they're, they're amazing um, and then finally what we have um sadly i can't show y'all because i actually have no footage of it but if you do remember pfg used to have streams when their game went down when there's a new character release and what would happen is at 12 o'clock you know the game was shut down for maintenance and within that hour they would show off the new character and pretty much a new patch not really the new patch more just the character uh, but I think what a cool thing they should do is keep doing it. I think that was great. It brought the community together. It gave us a thing, something to do within that hour. Because, you know, most games, when they're down, we're just like, uh, let's do random stuff until our game comes back on. But this, this brings the community all together watching it. And uh, within that hour, we can, you, you, they can highlight the, the big things that are changing in, in patches. Um, and then two, we can see the new character. And we can see combo games. Shout out to Ajax. You know, I love your character combos. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he did an amazing job with that, and I think it's just awesome to keep the community together. And then the best thing they do at the ending of it is that when the game is back and running, they go raid somebody in the community. I think that's amazing. You know, it gets us together. It lets us see new talent, new streamers that we possibly might like to watch and enjoy. I think it's just awesome. And that is it for the needs slash wants for multiverses in 2024. 
and hopefully all of this could be added or some of it could be added so the game gets more improved and more fun and obviously the bugs the servers the whiff recovery on characters the hitboxes you know we all pray that's all fixed for 2024 because we do love this game pfg if you're watching we, we generally do like we really do the reason why we're so angry and mad about stuff in the game or the lack of stuff in the game is because we care for this game we like it we like it so much that we want it to be the best we want it to be perfect obviously perfect you know can't always happen but we like to get close to it um leave a like if you like the video comment about anything you know i love your comments comment at eggplant if you actually made it through the whole video so it could confuse people um and also comment down some of your um opinions that you think i forgot like hey wait why didn't you say that they should add this in the game they should add this in the game you know and if you do enjoy multiverses content subscribe i'm gonna be making a lot i have a lot of stuff prepped up for 2024 before the game and i'll be doing a lot during the game all right, I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.